All right, so hello again, everyone on YouTube. I'm having one hell of a recording session here on Twitch. I'm now going to watch MK11's official Joker character reveal trailer. And from what I hear, I haven't watched any of this. I don't really keep up with MK11. But from what I've heard from my dear, dear viewers on the stream is that they've actually changed his facial appearance. Or have they changed the suit as well? Because I remember from the, um, the season pass trailer, they showed, of course, Arnold, the T-800, and multiple other characters. And they showed Joker, but it, it looked like a handsome guy, you know, a fashion model who just had some Joker pa facial paint. And it just looked off. And I hear they've changed his looks. I'm very, very anxious to see what this looks like, especially coming off uh, Joker with uh, Joaquin Phoenix, how do you pronounce that? Incredible actor who I always wanted to see as Joker, and that movie is, a pound for pound, the most successful comic book movie or superhero movie of all time. And that's saying a lot considering the competition, you know, um, how many Mar Marvel movies are there alone? Like. 98, I don't know, started with Iron Man, right, in 2008, I think. But uh, I'm such an enormous fan of a Joker movie that uh, this is, of course, great timing. Uh, and, and I'm hoping uh, Mr. Phoenix uh, wins the Oscar in February. Uh, but let's watch. Maybe this could get me interested in MK11. Oh, shit, that was pretty cool. Okay, they've certainly changed his looks. It, it reminds you of the original design, but they've added a lot of roughness to him and age in the wrinkles. But you can see there's still a pretty attractive guy beneath it all. This, this, yeah, this is a little bit like, this is not the Phoenix, this is not Jack Nicholson. This is a little bit like Heath Ledger, although the trademark long curly hair is not there. But it looks a little bit like Heath Ledger. It certainly does. Those blades, those teeth. Realizing the ways I can kill you. The bucks I'll make selling them in Gotham. Oh, it's Mark Hamill. Fight. That's Mark Hamill, right? I'll save the day. <laughs> Was that a bad one, boy? I mean, I can't really even tell what he's doing. I just see a cane, Joker cane, and then lots of props. But that is very Joker-ish. <laughs> that Batman ball is great. What the fuck was that? See, that, that's the ledger uh, detonator uh, fuck up from the Dark Knight. Oh, 
They always have to outdo themselves with, with uh, fatalities. They always have to go just one step further every time. Here I was like, in MK1, he would have exploded with the kick and that would have been it. But I'm like, no, it's, it's 2019, 2020, whatever. You gotta add something more. Of course, he brings out the machine gun, the tummy gun, shoots him, and I'm like, okay, that's it. But no, it's 2020. He falls down, is cut into two pieces by a falling sign. Uh, which, of course, is perfectly in line with how physics work. But I don't know, now I think Jared uh, Leto's Joker, when I see this end screen here. I'm just gonna hurt you real, real bad, and he does that face. Uh, and it's just so terrible. Uh, yeah, I don't know, um, looks good, I guess? I don't know, I, I was expecting more from the game. The fatality, nice. Um, I don't know what this attack is called. X-ray attack. But I like it. This is a nice touch that he actually cuts him. He cuts the Joker smile on him. And then it's very, very, very messy. Um... But I guess I, I'm, not, I'm not a Mortal Kombat player, so with the attacks, I don't know what's going on. I can't really analyze the gameplay. Uh, but I like the Batman prop. And what's go going on here? He swings a person here or what? Yeah, he pulls a guy off his wheelchair and then throws him off screen again. There's just so much crap going on. But uh, yeah, ni nice attention to detail. I think that is Mark Hamill's voice. Uh, can someone let me know if it is? Just sounded like him. Have they pulled the uh, audio from the Arkham games, or did he go to Warner to record for Neverrealm? Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, it's it's not Mark. Okay, I, I, I'm not wearing um, earphones uh, or headphones. I, I keep the volume pretty low, but uh, it, it just sounded like him at first time. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, those of you who play MK11, uh, does this look amazing? And what other characters are coming out? Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, as always, the visuals are great. Uh, that's the one thing you always get with Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Everything just looks so good. But in terms of gameplay, it's hard to judge for me.